U.S. Senator Ron Wyden joining us live tonight in studio for our Five on Five. Senator, thank you, much for, thank you very much for taking the time. Always good to be here. So we have wildfires right now burning in both Jackson and Klamath counties. I know you're getting a briefing tomorrow from some local fire officials about fire season. Is there anything new on the federal level that our viewers need to know about this year? Here, here's where we are, and I just came from the Eagle Point Cemetery, and they were talking about the, uh, the fire that they were dealing with last night. It is very clear to me this fire season we are going to have our hands full. The evidence uh, uh, indicates that it is really hot, really dry, and we're going to need a comprehensive effort. And I think there are two strategies that are important. First and foremost, in the short term, we've got to go in there and clean out those hazardous fuels that are just a big magnet uh, for fire, and not just regular fires, but infernos. Second, we need to train more people. In the short term, that means National Guard folks, and we have to have additional people at the Forest Service. Longer term, it's my 21st Century Civilian Conservation Corps and my legislation that I believe will be bipartisan to promote prescribed burns so that you can go in there and uh, uh, take steps to, uh, to deal with uh, uh, the threat and, uh, and prevent big fires. Are you pleased right now with where we are at with Almeida fire cleanup? We've got a lot of heavy lifting to do. Uh, certainly we've made uh, uh, progress recently, but I've been concerned that a lot of folks feel that they're falling between the cracks and I'm staying at it until everybody gets uh, uh, their questions uh, uh, addressed. On May 12th, Klamath Project farmers were told by the Bureau of Reclamation that there wasn't enough water in Upper Klamath Lake to open the A Canal during the 2021 irrigation season. It's the first time that's ever happened, leaving thousands without water, thousands of irrigators, I should say. What is being done to help them at the federal level? The delegation on a bipartisan basis is first and foremost trying to get help uh, to the farmers who've just been clobbered this year. I've had uh, uh, a discussion with Congressman Benz about it. Senator Merkley and I are going to work with him in a bi bipartisan way. When you have farmers hurting like this, there's not, no such thing as a Democratic answer or a Republican answer. We just got to get help to them quickly. And Republican U.S. Representatives Cliff Benz, as you mentioned, and Doug LaMalfa in Siskiyou County, Northern California, have introduced a bill to help the farmers in the House. Will that get Democratic support? And if it reaches the Senate, would you vote for it? I'm going to look at the legislation, and obviously I want to work with Congressman Bentz because he represents uh, the area, and we are very much united, and we discussed it uh, here recently, to make sure the farmers get help quickly. I won't let anything stand in the way of that. Senator, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're joined by Oregon U.S. Senator Ron Wyden in studio. The vote, Senator, to create a bipartisan commission to study the January 6th insurrection failed in the Senate this past week. Is this a done deal now, or do you think Democrats should continue pushing investigations into what happened that day? My sense is that Republican senators in particular are going to be going home. Uh, we wrapped up uh, uh, the initial work on the China bill uh, at the end of the week, and I think they're going to hear from a lot of constituents and influential ones we're going to say that we need answers to this. It seems like every few days additional information comes out and uh, something along the lines of the 9-11 commission that's bipartisan is what the country needs. It doesn't appear Democrats and Republicans are going to find common ground on an infrastructure bill at this time. Will Democrats go at it alone and what do you think that final number should be? My, my sense is that there are opportunities, and I mentioned uh, uh, the China Bill Senator Mike Crapo and I, he's the Republican Senator from Idaho, teamed up on the big uh, a trade enforcement bill. I mean, certainly people are saying in this country that high-skill, high-wage jobs, uh, many of them relate to international trade. We produced a bipartisan uh, uh, proposal that got an overwhelming, nearly unanimous uh, vote. Infrastructure, we know we need roads and bridges and, and transportation systems. And we also need, because it's key to increasing our productivity, a supply side approach to childcare. And when I say supply side, we've got to create more supply. That means building uh, new facilities, it's uh, enhancing and rehabbing the existing ones. It's a supply side approach to childcare. You and Senator Merkley uh, are joining with Kentucky Republican Rand Paul to introduce legislation this month to ensure hemp-derived CBD products are regulated by the FDA. Why is that so important to Oregon? We, we propose this legislation because hemp has especially uh, been promising for, for Oregonians. I think, for example, uh, young farmers who are getting attracted uh, uh, to the opportunities are part of the key to agriculture uh, in the future. And the fact is the Food and Drug Administration has been dragging its feet. Our legislation would change that. 
And you were the chair of the Senate Finance Committee. You recently released a new GAO report showing a dramatic increase in demand for mental health care during the pandemic. What would you like to see done and how are we going to get there? First of all, it seems to me we've got to get uh, the parity that was uh, uh, recognized in the initial legislation that would treat uh, mental health like, uh, like physical health. Then we need to improve the telehealth sector, which was so promising during the pandemic. And then my CAHOOTS legislation that brought together police and mental health authorities to try to work together to deal with stressful situations on the street. That's a one, two, three uh, triangle in terms of looking at mental health. Of course, it is Memorial Day, sir, and I know you talked about just coming from the Eagle Point National Cemetery. Is there anything you'd like to say to either our veterans or the families of our fallen veterans? This is an especially important day because this is the day when we make special efforts to recognize those who've made the ultimate sacrifice. They and their families, and it's why I was at uh, uh, Eagle uh, Point, so often are forgotten in our society and Eagle Point makes sure that that doesn't happen. I really commend them. I've been uh, going to those uh, uh, services uh, over the years. I think I've gone to something like 20 of them. I'm sure not going to miss it next year. Senator, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks we for appreciate having me. The time. Stay with us. We'll be right back.